Draw for the 2020-2021 Europa League last 16 has been made and there's some interesting matches on the agenda for the next round of matches, including the return of Zlatan to Old Trafford. We'll take a look at that and more next. Today we're taking a look at the last 16 at the Europa League first legs and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe and get your bang out today with all things Blackburn Rose related, Europa League related, whoa, football related, we're going to do here. Under one Ruski, that's right, hot off the press, the draw is only a couple of hours old, but guess what? The picks keep on coming in and we're going to take a look at, uh, of course, the Europa League last 16 first legs in just a second. A oh, big, big shout out to the Patreons, you know who you are, the Band of Brothers, supporting the channel behind the bloody scenes, that's right. Goodness gracious me, do appreciate you guys, if uh, anyone else wants to join the uh, illustrious Band of Brothers, check out that link down below, patreon.com forward slash Rover But anyway, we are going to take a, a, a little look at this, of course. Europa League and we'll get into the deep end now with of course reviewing my picks and then of course we're going to take a look at your picks so here we bloody well go alrighty and then let's of course review of course the last 32 second leg matches with my picks and then we'll take a look at your picks and of course then of course kick it all off it was Spurs against Wolfsburger that up as a 4-0 uh, win on the day 3-0 for me a uh, comfortable win for Spurs on the night and of course uh, that would uh, easily see them through to the next round Deli Ali on the score she can't finish with a couple of goals there Gareth Bale as well remember him on the score sheet goodness gracious me Club Bruce against Dynamo Kiev ended up as a 1-0 win for Kiev. Vitaly Bukashkidi on the score sheet giving them the win actually over the 2-1 win going in favour of Club Bruges and I got that one wrong. Meanwhile over at United Old Trafford 0-0 in the end of a Sociedad even though they played a bit of a strong side. 3-0 were for me but of course they go through uh, with of course that monster lead that they had out in Spain. Meanwhile uh, Red Star uh, they got a draw against AC Milan. In fact they didn't lose any of the games but unfortunately they went out the cruelest way possible on away goals. 1-1 uh, in the end on the night. Kessie from the penalty spot. El Fadi Mohamed Ben Nuru on the score sheet for, of course, Red Star, uh, which was a 1 1 scoreline on the day. But I think the away goals gave Milan the victory. Of course, Leicester City also crashed out. 2 0 loss to Prague. Lucas Povard on the score sheet. Abdalia de Biasama on the score sheet as well for, for Prague, giving them the win. Actually, went with the 2 0 win. But I went the other way. Mima Roma. Uh, they uh, they actually beat Braga 3-1 comfortably Zeca with a goal Perez and Mariano as well Brian Costante with a big for OG giving Braga some hope but again too little too near 3-1 final score 2-1 for me Zagreb against Krasnodar also was a win for Dynamo Zagreb 1-0 win on the night it was a 2-0 win, win for me uh, Miroslav Oricevic on the score sheet uh, giving Zagreb the W is it good enough we'll have a little look in a minute of course Leverkusen uh, lost the first leg they lost the second as well 2-0 win the young boys coming out on top out of Switzerland. Uh, Jordan Sabiatu on the score. Christian Fasnacht. That's the donut over here. That's right. Of course, comfortable win for the young boys. And again, I think they're through as well. PSV, they won on the day. 2-1. Got the one bang on the bloody nose. Yes, I did. 2-1. Final score. But is it good enough? I don't think so. Erin Sahivi on the score sheet with a couple of goals there for PSV. Achman Hasman Magoub on the score sheet. But of course, uh, Olympiakos will review that shortly. Of course, Arsenal, uh, they left it late. 3-2 winners over, over Benfica. Uh, they were losing that game into the final. So, sort of, well, the back end of that game, of course. Uh, PSV, yeah, Emmerich Abamian with a couple of goals there. Kieran Tierney as well. Rafa and Diego Conca Guerrero over there on the score sheet, giving Benfica some hope, but unfortunately not good enough. Rangers, though, put on a bit of a barn stomach performance. 5 2 win over or Royal Antwerp. Goals galore in this one. 7 goal thriller. Alfred Morelos, uh, Nathan Patson, Ryan Kett, Bora Badasevich from the Penis Park, Cedric Itrin as well. Uh, Leonel Ravanov and Didier Lemekel Z on the score sheet for, uh, for uh, Antwerp. But again, I think Rangers squeezing through to the next round. Villarreal 2 1 winners over Salzburg. They, I think they're out as well. Salzburg, Villarreal, of course, good evening, good evening, uh, of course, uh, Matey Boy in charge, Marina with a brace, Megamir Bashrina on the score sheet as well, kicking on forward, uh, Hoffenheim lost to Mulder, probably the shock of the night, uh, Bundesliga team crash out, Ulrich, uh, Ulrand, Anderson with a couple of goals there for Mulder, giving them the double there, uh, again, I think it's good enough to go through, Napoli though, they did beat Granada on the night, but I think they crash out as well, another big upset, so a lot of big teams going home at this stage, like I said, Leverkusen, Napoli now in that amongst, amongst them as well, Pieter Zelensky, Fabian Ruiz.
is on the score sheet for Napoli. Angela Montoro uh, gets Granada the goal, which I think is good enough to go through. Shakhtar Donetsk, uh, they uh, they go through as well. Squeeze, squeezing by uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv out of Israel. Uh, the one goal for Shakhtar coming at you from Juno Morales. Scores goals for fun, doesn't he? Uh, for the penalty spot in the end for Shakhtar. And if Ajax, another win over Lille. Uh, they did the double. 2-1, 2-1. Of course, go through as well. Goal scorers on the day. Uh, who were you? Of course, it was uh, David Klassen and David Neres. Uh, were use of Yak Singjing on the score sheet for Lille. But again, too little, too late. Uh, of course, Lille, not good enough. And if, if, if my mind is, suits me correctly, here are the aggregate scores. Spurs getting on top of the 8-1 win on aggregate. They'll go through. Uh, Dynamo Kiev also beat Bruges 2-1 on aggregate. United comfortably through, as do Arsenal. AC Milan go through the cheeky back door. Of course, away goals. Rangers comfortably through 9-5 on aggregate. Leicester City crash out. One of the big boys, I would say. 2-0 lost. Slavia Prague. Villarreal go through, though. They'll be a team you want to avoid. Of course, Roma, they uh, came through as well. Uh, sticky wicket that is Braga 5-1 on the day Zag uh, Zagreb uh, yep they go through 4-2 another one you don't want to be playing Leverkusen crash out young boys burn one of the dark horses left as are Mulder they go through beating of course two by uh, Bundesliga teams crash out to the Scandinavian bad boys Napoli crash out as well a lot of upsets on the side of the draw of course Shakhtar Donetsk are cruising through as are Ajax and of course PSV crash out to the likes of Olympiakos there are your teams your 16 that remain and of course we'll take a look at how that's all panned out in the draw in a little bit of course I'll take a look at your picks. Of course, these are the criteria. You know the drill. Uh, of course, Vincent Hong did fantabulous, as did Costas K. He's okay. Russell Frost, well done to you, brother. Well done indeed. Yannick Buster did bits. Uh, Jessica Isaf also did all right. Shane O'Donnell, absolutely fabulous. Of course, Hansworth did bits. And Magan, not too shabby. Of course, Tom Stainer, well done. You did shit, though. Uh, Toby the Beast also did great. Ryan Long, not too shabby. Fernando Jesus Garcia Garamond also did poop. Andreas also did good. Ultra Amir, absolutely fabulous. Of course, James PCFC, you also did good. And Ivan Shinger did bits. Austin did okay. Of course, so did uh, Cody Gaho, brother. Of course, Anno Ascovir, Anno Lagiojo. Absolutely kicking ass and taking him. Nuka Capelcelle did all right. Uh, Brendan Arden also did good. And Milako Milagrovic also did good. And Alex Fella. I'm giving you a free one right there, brother. Of course, Nathan Eva, well done to you. You did shit, though. Of course, Nicola Marcus also did bits. Uh, Gio did all right. Of course, Karl McGuckin also did uh, pretty good. Of course, Gaming Charlie again doing good. Bianca Mola, of course, also did very, very well. Indeed. Let's take a look at the leaderboard for this week and this week alone. Let's take a look at it. Tom Stainer, don't look at it. Don't even look at it. But of course, if your name is Brendan Arden, new to the scene, 11 out of, uh, what was it, 16 matches. It's pretty good. It's pretty dang good. And of course, what's that done to the table? Of course, it's going to put you right up there. These are not your totals. These, of course, are your percentage correct. Uh, the whole Europa League as a whole. Yannick Bosler is your man. And he's got a percentage lead over Hansworth. It's narrow. It's very, very narrow. I think if you're in the top five, you've got a realistic chance of becoming the kingpin for Europa League. The games are running thin. But uh, still, you know, even in the top 10, you probably got to hope. Uh, and anyone outside of that, you got to hope for a bit of a mirror that these guys lose internet connection, of course. But let's kick it off. Over to, of course, take a look at the draw. Here it comes. Of course, some tasty one. Which, which one uh, suits Shimoni the best here? Of course, Rangers have got a good chance to get through to the quarterfinals, uh, as do the likes of Mulder. They've got Granada, uh, which is a tr sticky wicket as well. Uh, who else is uh, Young Boys and Ajax? That'll be difficult as well. United against Latan as well. We'll have a look at all of that, of course, as we go through these games. I'll give you my first leg picks. So we'll be back again for the second legs uh, when they come around. So kick it all off. We'll be Ajax up against Young Boys Burn. Let's take a look at this shall we of course uh, I don't know if they've ever played each other in fact let me have a little gander here have they ever played each other according to my brain we're going to bring up some extra stats here of course no this will be the first time that these two sides have played each other but of course heading into this I actually winning three games on the spin in all competitions including out in the Dutch league of course uh, last time around they took on Rotterdam and they won 4-2 uh, heading into this though of course on the back of uh, uh, successive wins over Lille uh, with a 4-2 aggregate win of course as for uh, the young boys that come into this of course also on the back of three wins as well also beating uh, Seviet I believe out of Neo Swiss top flight. A look at the early uh, indications and the bookies. Of course, the draw has just took place. And again, this is for the, this leg and this leg alone. Of course, 11 8 on is your IX. They are your favourites. 14 to 5 is your draw. 7 to 2 is your young boys burn. Of course, Austin, Leverkusen. Can they do it again? They could. But I think they'll lose this one with a 2 0 win. IX getting the uh, the upper hand so far. Let's kick it on forward. Of course, take a look at the next round. It's, of course, Dynamo Kiev taking, of course, Villarreal. Sticky wicket going over to Kiev. Uh, long travel uh, if it goes ahead that way. Of course, uh, they push other twice in recent success. In recent years going back to 2005 it's been uh, one win for Villarreal nothing for Kiev and no draws last round in Kiev was a new new draw back in uh, December uh, February 2015 in the Europa League probably around about this stage as well uh, of course heading into this though Villarreal coming into this just uh, one defeat the past four games that one defeat was against Betis out in of course La Liga meanwhile Kiev coming into this unbeaten in the last three pick up two draws and a win to boot of course they'll play each other again in the second leg uh, but of course all eyes on this one of course 11 to 5 is your Kiev 6 to 5 is your Villarreal the high favourites 12 to 5 is the draw of course who do we fancy on this one make sure you get your picks in early uh, 
I'm going with on this one with a 1-1 one -one draw. Sports split right down the middle. And again, keep Kiev alive. Of course, going to Spain and maybe just maybe they'll squeeze through and we'll have a little look at it, of course, in the second leg. Uh, kicking off forward, it'll be Roma up against Shakhtar Donetsk. Donetsk make it to the latter stages, last amount, and of course, deep into those latter stages, taking on, and of course, Roma play each other in the last six anyway. Two is for Roma, four for Shakhtar Donetsk. No draws, last time around in, of course, Roma. It was a one-day win for Roma. Uh, it was a win, but it wasn't good enough, I think. In fact, they did squeeze through on away goals last time around. That was out in the Champions League back in March 2018. Eden Zeko on the score sheet. Ivan Ortiz got himself sent off, of course, a couple of years ago. Um, so heading into this, though, Roma uh, winning two of the past three games, of course, beating... Uh, beating Braga back-to-back uh, -back games, of course, on aggregate 5-1 on total. Of course, heading into still on the back of a draw against Benevento, they'll take on uh, AC Milan this weekend. And, of course, prior to this game, which will take place on 11th of March, a couple of games before then. Uh, it's actually quite a bit away, actually. I'm actually jumping on the money right here, right now. Of course, though, on the opposition, no, uh, Danes coming to this winning three on the spin. Uh, of course, uh, what are we looking at this one? What are we looking at this one? They beat, uh, they beat of course, Maccabi Tel Aviv back-to-back. Uh, and, of course, uh, beat in uh, Lviv out in the uh, Ukrainian uh, top flight. Look at the boogies odds on this one. Early indication again. Of course, it could, it could change by the time this game goes off. 7 4 on for Roma. They are your favourites. 9 to 2 is your draw. 3 to 1. Uh, sorry, 9 to 2 is your away win. 3 to 1 is your draw. I think Roma will win this one, but I think this is too far, too easy, or not too easy, but too, uh, it's very easy to get complacent at Shakhtar Donetsk. They're, they're a sticky wicket, especially when it comes to, of course, the home leg. So I think they'll lose this, the, the away one, but I think they'll be right in the thick of things for the, the home. Uh, next, of course, Olympiacos, of course, Arsenal, familiar opponents, of course, uh, played each other just last season in the, in the Europa League. I think Olympiacos coming on top as well. Uh, the picture of the six times in recent succession anyway, uh, it's been three wins for the Olympiacos, three wins for the Gunners as well and I did talk about this uh, last round in Greece it was a one-day win for Arsenal but guess what uh, Olympiacos got a 2-1 win over, over Arsenal last round to get through on away goals last round will it be a repeat of course uh, the one and only goal scorer back in the day was of course Alexander Lacazette that was of course around about a year ago today heading into so Arsenal winning two of the past four games beating Leeds and also beating Benfica of course they drew the first leg against Benfica and they also uh, take, took on Manchester City in recent uh, matches so after Olympiacos the Kepitish, just one win the past three games scores that one was against PSV Eindhoven in the home leg. Since then, though, they haven't won. Uh, again, they'll be taking on a couple of Greek outfits before they lock horns with the Gunners uh, on their own turf. Look at the bookies' odds on this one, then, shall we? Olympiacos, 7 to 5 for the victory, 2 to 5 is your draw, 6 to 5 is your, your Arsenal. There will be the favourites on this one, Arsenal. Uh, I think they'll get the better of them again once again. 2 1 win, a repeat of last time, uh, but will it be good enough for Arsenal to go through? We'll have to see. Of course, next up, of course, we have Dynamo Zagreb taking, of course, Tottenham Hotspur. Of course, picture just the one time in recent years. Of course, that one time was, of course, back in 2008. Uh, it was a 4 0 win for Spurs back in November 2000. And of course, eight uh, with Darren Bent with a hat trick on that one. Tom Huddleston as well heading into the uh, Zagreb winning back to back games. Of course, the the games are in Croatia. I'm not sure if they're going ahead or not. Uh, but of course, uh, the games against Krasnodar went in favour of Zagreb 4-2 on aggregate. As for Spurs, are given to this, of course, on the back of an 8-1 win uh, on aggregate over Wolfsburg, who would have been a sticky wicket, uh, but unfortunately they came through on top. Of course, uh, not going too well out in the Premiership. But of course, Spurs will look at this as a sneaky way into the Champions League via the back door. Of course, Brookie's odds on this one, then shall we? Uh, Zagreb a 3-1 for the victory, 11-4 is your draw, 65 on is your Spurs. Uh, I'm a Mourinho fan myself, and I think they'll get the edge on this one. I've gone with, of course, a 1-1 draw in the end, which will give uh, Zagreb belief that they can come out on top uh, with a W at, of course, when they come back to, to, to England. But unfortunately, uh, Spurs will be even happier with, of course, that away goal uh, in the end. Next, of course, Manchester United against AC Milan. Probably the tie of the round here, some juggernauts locking horns. Of course, the return of Zlatan to Old Trafford. Will he bring, of course, a nightmare uh, for uh, Manchester United to do with all oh, these boys? Keep on keeping on, of course. Uh, they play each other in quite quite a few games in recent succession last round in competitive action was in the Champions League back 2010 uh, in Old Trafford it was a 4-0 win for United Wayne Rooney on the score sheet Park Sung Jung uh, as well Darren, pa uh, Darren Fletcher as well on the score sheet for uh, Manchester United coming out on top on that game uh, on Aggregate 7-2 uh, seven, uh, seven uh, in, in of course about 10 years ago but of course heading into this though uh, Manchester United picking up uh, two wins in the past three games of course beating Sociedad in the first leg drawing the second leg but of course beating Newcastle in uh, the middle of all that as for AC Milan it's kind of all gone the wheels of Connor off for AC Milan. Of course, they were flying high at the top of the table. Of course, it's gone a little bit south here, of course, with a recent uh, defeat to the nearest and nearest Inter Milan, though. But they're coming to this on the back of a, a difficult games against uh, a Red Star Belgrade in the Europa League. And, of course, they'll fancy the chances to at least uh, cause some problems for Manchester United on this one. A look at the biggest odds on this one, then. Shall, shall we, of course, for Manchester United? 5 4 on for the victory. 5 2 is your 7 2 is your AC Milan. I'm a big fan of Zlatan and a big fan of AC Milan, and I hope they do well out in the domestic fight. But I can't see them uh, getting anything out of this one. Gone with a 3 1 win for United to give themselves 
a comfortable lead in the first leg and already probably one foot through uh, to the quarter finals kicking on further we have of course Slavia Prague against Rangers a good opportunity for both of these two sides to go further in the competition they've never played each other in the past but of course Rangers coming into this on the back of four uh, wins if not more than that they are looking very very good out in the domestic top fight and also looking very very good right here right now of course Stevie G's got them moving in the right direction uh, meanwhile the Prague coming into this on the back of uh, just one win the past three games that one win was against Leicester in the Europa League and of course uh, they're doing pretty pretty okay out in the old domestic fight I don't know I haven't got the, 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 the record at the moment but anyway heading into this of course the bookies odds uh, Slavia Prague 5-4 for the victory 2-1 is your Rangers 5-2 is the draw uh, Big, I like what's, what's going on with Rangers at the moment and Stevie G and I think if they can get through this one and get Slavia Prague into the last latter stages in the quarterfinals they could be the team you do not want to face as of course they go through potentially uh, to, to the, to the quarterfinals and maybe and beyond Go with a draw on this one, have I? No, 2-1 win for Rangers. Bloody hell, I believe in them. I believe in the Rangers. I believe in, the, of course, DVG to take, of course, a convincing lead uh, into, of course, the return in Ibrox, uh, of course, uh, a week after this one. Next, of course, Granada taking on, of course, Mulder. This is the last one. And again, huge opportunity for the likes of Mulder to get through. And, of course, Granada will fancy the chances as well. Of course, heading into this, they never played each other in the past, but, of course, Granada coming into this, losing three of the past four games. Their only win was against Napoli in the first leg. They did lose the second, second leg, but, of course, the 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 uh, the, the, the aggregate score favoured them. Uh, meanwhile, Bolder coming to this, of course, I uh, don't know what's going on in the domestic fight. I don't even know if it's going ahead. But of course, they did uh, draw with uh, Hoffenheim in uh, Norway, but of course, coming out on top of the tuna win over in Germany, a convincing, uh, believable win as well, Mulder. And they're happy. They've, they're, of course, been seeing them on the old social media. Uh, Haaland's praising them, but can they get another step forward against a possibly winnable game, this one? Uh, Granada, of course, play each other. They haven't played each other, of course, but the bookies are 9-4 on Granada. Are you favourites? 11-2 is the away win. Of course, Mulder, 7-2 is the bloody draw. For me, I don't think they'll get the win. I think uh, Granada would get the advantage 2-0. Uh, but it'll leave a, a, a winnable opportunity for Molda once it comes back around for the second leg. Uh, but what about the bookies odds overall then, shall we? Of course, let's have a look, a little look at it. Of course, let's reverse it. Of course, uh, and 16th place, the underdogs is Molda, 200-1. Uh, Young Boysburn are 80-1. to Dynamo Greb, 66-1. to Slavic Prague are 50. Uh, then we'll take a look at, of course, Dynamo Kiev, also 50-1. to Olympiakos, and then Shakhtar Donetsk, and then Granada make up your ninth best team. Into the top eight, Rangers Rangers are 16 to 1, then Villarreal 10 to 1, alongside Roma 10 to 1, Ajax of course 9 to 1, Milan, AC Milan 8 to 1, uh, then we have Arsenal 7 to 1, Manchester United 7 to 2, and at Tottenham are 7 to 2, joint favourites alongside Manchester United. It could be go anyway, but it looks like the English teams are dominating uh, with all three in the top, uh, top echelons of the bookies odds. Of course, be sure to get your picks in nice and early for this, and we'll do it all again very, very soon as well. Check out the links down below. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, and again, if you want to support chat in another way, make sure you check me out on the old pit Patreon, there is a link down there, patreon.com forward slash but of course make sure you give it a good old thumbs up and make sure you smash your subscribe and of course hopefully you'll do well and we'll take a look at your picks next time around but until then mask up be safe and hopefully uh, let's enjoy some football